Do you ever record yourself playing Kahan? I do all the time, and it's not just to make these videos. Watching and listening to recordings of yourself playing is a great way to find out the things you need to improve and work on in your practicing. In this video, I'm going to show you some simple ways to film and record yourself. Hi there, Felipe here from CajonMaster.com. I hope you are well. I get questions like this all the time. Can I play this groove with this song? I don't know why, but my double strokes are weak. I'm struggling to play this groove. My slap tone sounds weird. What can I do? The thing is that I can't always give a proper answer to your questions because I can't see or hear what you are playing. So I'm inviting you to film yourself playing and submit the video to me so I can review it and can give you some feedback. I've put a link in the description below to a page at cajonmaster.com with all the instructions on exactly what you need to do in order to submit your video. I will go through the videos submitted and choose a few of them to go over here on the channel. This is open to all Cajon players at all levels, and I'd like to make it a regular thing here on the channel. So if you are interested in participating or just want to learn by watching, make sure you are subscribed and have the bell icon activated. If you film or record yourself playing, you can learn a lot in the process. So I encourage you to do that if you haven't done yet and make it part of your practice routine. So now let's get into how exactly you should go about recording yourself. I'm going to start with the easiest and most accessible way to record yourself, which is just using your smartphone. And then we will get into some ways you could add some extra gear to get even better results. So now I'm filming with my iPhone, as you can see, in a portrait mode. I think it's better in a portrait mode than landscape mode, because in this way you can see your expression, your body, if your posture is good, of course, your arms and your hands, and the cajon. I think portrait mode is the best option. And if I play a little bit, In that shot, I used the selfie camera so I could see what I was doing. After you set up the video and the image looks right to you, I suggest you to forget the camera and focus on what you are playing and repeat what you want to show without stop the camera. After, you can edit and choose the best part of the video. The built-in microphone in your phone is going to pick up the audio and make automatic adjustments for the levels. You are not going to get an amazing audio signal, but it's perfectly fine and usable. Remember, we are making these recordings for the purpose of analyzing and learning. This method is the easiest and it requires one piece of gear that you already have in your pocket. With the addition of an external microphone, you can really improve the quality of the audio a lot if that's important for you. I have here with me the AT2020 USB-I by Audio-Technica. It's a microphone that's designed to plug directly into your phone or tablet, and it has a better audio signal which will improve the sound of your videos or recordings. Another external mic that I have is this one. It's a Zoom H2n. This also can plug directly into your phone, and it's got its own built-in condenser microphone, so you can record straight away and you can save all in a SD card. I'm going to record the same thing on all three microphones. This one, this one, as well my iPhone microphone, so you can hear the difference in sound quality.
this last sound example you just saw was from my usual setup with two microphones connected to my computer with an audio interface and a recording software. You can also use that, but as you can see, this requires you to know how to use the software and have more expensive stuff. So if you haven't been doing it already, I hope you start recording yourself just for your personal analysis and critique. You can really help yourself improve quite a lot by being your own teacher most of the time. I also hope that some of you will send me your videos playing so that I can go through them and share my thoughts with you. Go ahead and share this video with anyone else who may be interested. And if you like it, please click the like button and add your comment below. I hope to hear from you all soon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.